Okay, for this lesson, we're gonna learn how to draw a rabbit, a cottontail rabbit. So you just need to make sure you got a very nice sharp pencil. I always like to have a couple on standby. Uh, of course, you'll need your pencil sharpener and you'll need a good rubber for this one. Hopefully yours is a bit better than mine. So let's get started. Now for our rabbit, we're just going to start with, uh, I'm gonna start with the head. So I'm um, just gonna create um, an oval first. And I'm just sketching this very, very lightly. Because I'm going to change things, rub things out along the way, super light. It's a really good skill to practice just drawing as lightly as possible. Okay, I'm just gonna draw a little circle off this just to get the nose sort of roughly where the nose will be. Just using a circle. And I'm just going to create another oval here. This is just work out kind of where his little shoulder will be, I suppose. So two ovals, a side oval, a circle. Okay, now I just want to get the shape of this back. So coming from this head, I'm just going to make a curving shape, nice and long and slender. Something like this. And I'm going to create another oval over here, which is just to give me an idea where this sort of leg is going to go. Something like this. All right, let's just work out where this eye will go. Now, just thinking about this as a, almost like a portrait. Uh, I think the eye, if I just work out a little cross here, I just want the eye to go up in here. So I'm just gonna create, um, I guess, kind of like a, a lemon sort of shape. Now, I don't know about you, but I have a, a nasty habit of always drawing eyes a little bit too big. I'm going to just sketch in an ear, a nice tall ear. Okay, something like this. Okay, again, just really lightly, I'm just trying to work things out and I'm just gonna join to this front here round nose like that, just giving the shape. Okay, all right. Now, just working on this now, I'm just gonna, where this line comes here, I think the nose will sort of curve around like this. It's starting to look a little bit like a rabbit's face now. For the eyes, I'm just gonna darken up these eyes. Sharp pencil here. already starting to look a little bit cute. Okay, just work out where a mouth might go. Okay, just add some lines in here just to start to fill this in. Okay, let's get some of that ear in position. Okay, let's put in that second ear. We'll make this one come out. Okay. All right. Starting to look a bit like a rabbit. Okay, for the next part, uh, we're just gonna now just work on getting, um, I suppose, the body and some of the legs. We'll come to this oval here. This was just to get the shape of where a, sort of a shoulder might come, so. Maybe down here in the corner here, we'll just create a little curve and we'll put a, um, some sort of a, a paw. Okay, probably, that's probably a bit far, so maybe, um, I'm guessing it'll probably come out about as far as his face. sure how many little toes ago I'll just put three here that we can see okay and just another maybe just a hint there it could be laying across his poor okay 
Okay, let's put the tummy in, which will just curve down near the paw here. Okay, for this back leg, he's gonna be laying down, so we'll go like a lying down rabbit this one he's having a little a little rest from all his running around okay now we can just if anything doesn't sort of look right we can just sort of change it just work on it so far that the rabbit is looking like a rabbit so now I'm just going to get rid of all these lines that I don't really need all these um, these sort of planning lines I don't really need some of these some I'll keep some I'll get rid of Now, because we're doing, um, obviously, a, a furry animal, I'm not going to shade this quite as smooth, but, um, so I'm just going to, I'm just going to, first I'm just going to sharpen up all my edges, and then I'm just going to use lots of lines to create some fur. So let's just, just, just make sure that our rabbit is definitely how we want it to look. start shading in some areas that you know is going to be a bit darker like the inside of the ear even just change some little bits so it's not quite so perfect perfectly straight over all my lines just making it really get that shape right so now I'm just going to um, put some 
shading in. Let's do the ears first. Just use my finger to blend it. Even just use my rubber to put some little highlights in here. Let's do the same with this ear. Okay, now I just wanna create a bit of highlights. I'm just gonna use my rubber just to run around the edge. Uh, maybe a little bit of highlight in the air here. And maybe a little bit around this edge. There we go, just creates a bit of highlight. Make sure we just keep our edges neat and tidy. Okay, so we're just gonna put um, a bit of hair on our rabbit. A bit of shading, a bit of hair. Maybe just a few little, whoops, a few little bits of hair sort of sticking out, just sort of flicking it some little whiskers on. For this I'm just sort of flicking with my pencil. And I'm just going to, um, now I'm just going to shade the sort of direction that the fur goes, so lots of little strokes here. of the fur. Keep it a little bit lighter around the eye. We don't want to lose that eye. Because rabbits have cute eyes. We don't want to lose that cute eye. Okay, and again, just working with the fur here. Just sort of flicking it just in the direction of where I think the fur would go down down the arm um, okay, I'm just going to shade this bit in it'll be in the background here so it'll be in shadow so we'll darken that back paw in and again just working with the direction of that fur shading. Okay, I don't want it shaded too much. I don't want to really darken it too much. All right, now I'm just going to keep working with this fur. Just keep it around the neck.
I've just sort of blended that bit in there because I want that to be a little bit darker. Okay, this takes a little bit of time to do the fur, but for the person who requested this video, you know who you are. That's what you get. Okay, now, once we've got all this fur, once again, my top tip is to go around and just neaten up those edges. Use your rubber just to get any of that extra sort of smudging or dirty marks out of the way. Along here, just in here I can see extra bits that don't belong. Just along here, just gonna tidy up. Actually, it won't matter here, I'm gonna add some shadow in. But around the, certainly around the top, Okay, I might even just want to add some, use my rubber just to add a little few little highlights, just to lighten up any areas. Okay, I might just add a little bit of, just a little bit of lightness there, a little bit of lightness around these legs. cute rabbit. Okay, I might even just darken his eyes up a little bit more. Okay, and now just to give this um, um, just a really good effect here, I'm just going to now just put a bit of shadow in, just to make him look sort of 3D. To make any sort of objects 3D, we had some add some shadow in. This doesn't have to be anything special.
Okay, and now we can just, just keep working. Any areas you want to change or fix, um, you, can, you can just work on it, fix it up as you go along. And then we'll have a nice cottontail rabbit.